What's up guys, today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to use the date time add function and that's a function that adds from one date to a specified amount of time that you want to add to it and it gives you the new date or the new time. So I hope this will be super helpful for you and if you haven't met me yet, my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners set up their information system. So whether that's in Asana, Slack, Airtable, toggle, etc. We interconnect all those systems and make it work very efficiently for the end user. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so as you can see, we have our Airtable database pulled up here and all you need for this tutorial is to have this date field pulled up wherever you are. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click up here and you're gonna insert one to the right. And you're gonna insert that field to the right and you're just gonna come down here and click formula. And we're gonna type in date add. So once you type in date add, I always like to just come over here and click so we can see what our operators are going to be for this function. So we have date add. The first argument is going to be the date time and then it's going to be comma the count and then comma the unit. This function is going to add a, spe a specified count to a date time with a specified unit. So the units could be like days, years, months, weeks. And you could also make this right here dynamic. You could actually make the week like the days or weeks dynamic if you wanted to, you just have to be very specific about that. But you could make this like where it says negative two right here, you could make that dynamic and have like another column where you just reference that, but I'll show you that in a second. So this first one, we're gonna be referencing this date and time to, then this next argument, you can see it's gonna be the count. So this is where you could reference, like if I wanted to reference calculation, I could reference that there. Or, if you don't want to reference and you just want it to be the same each time, you can just type like seven or you can type like negative seven. But for the for this, we're just gonna do seven. And so then the unit, this is where you can be, be pretty creative. So you can pick like day, week, month, or year. I know at least all of those work. I haven't really tried some of like the seconds, milliseconds. You can try that out if you want. Just go to Airtable and figure out the date and time operators list that they have. It's very useful. So you can just type in your quote. So you just need one quote, so like an apostrophe for this example. So we'll do day here. So if we add from this date, seven days after, so this could, an example of a use case for this could be you wanna do a like email seven days after maybe somebody signs up for your program or whatever that looks like. You can do that and we'll call this tutorial. So we'll see if this works. So as you can see here, you have the fourth plus seven days is the 11th. So that's right. And I'm thinking I need to go use the GMT time for all of these. So yeah, so the, so the times are actually the same. So we can come back in here and see what this looks like if we change this to like weeks. So if we change this to week, then we'll see what that looks like now. So that seemed to work out well. I don't know exactly like how, how to calculate the days, but it looks like it was about seven weeks. So now let's try something like hour and see how that looks. So if we add seven, yep, that looks right. So 11 plus seven ends up being 6 p.m. or 1.30 plus seven hours is 8.30. So let's try a minute. Yeah, so these all should have sevens in them because these are all, all end with zero. So that's perfect. So now I do want to show you one last thing and that's how to make this dynamic. So if I just change this to calculation, so this is going to add a dynamic amount of time. It should anyways. So we'll add, we'll change it to days so it's easier to see in my, in my opinion. So we change that to day. And you can see it changed. So like for some of these, it'll be 11. Some of it will be 12. So an easy one here is four plus 11 is 15. And let's find a 12. So five plus 12 is 17. So you can use this dynamic data in here. And again, to do this, you, you can just click in here to start, but you want to start with that date time. And this is usually almost always a cell reference. And then you do a calculation, although you could just put like one, like a static date, like just type in your date here and then make this dynamic. You could also do that. And then this last one here is this operator. So you can pick like, like we just showed you hour, minute, day, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope that was super helpful. Comment in the comment section if you thought this was helpful. And also if you have another function you want to learn how to use, 
but also go click the subscribe button and you'll get a lot more of these formula tutorials as well as automation tutorials. So I'm producing a lot of Airtable stuff, but I hope this was really helpful for you. And without further ado, have a great day.